Thank you for visiting. This is the Love Your Brush series of the Buffalo Architectural Painters BAP Tips. Here we will discuss the basics of caring for your paintbrush. For a paint job that takes days, weeks, or months, buy a professional brush and treat it right if you want it to last. This lesson is in four slides with my audio narration. If you know your painting project is going to take more than a few days or even weeks or months, buy a nice brush. Look for the word professional. Professional brushes are durable and made to stand up to daily use and cleaning. Surprisingly, daily cleaning is where other brushes show their worst quality. After painting and running through typical warm water washes, Lesser brushes' bristles do not come thoroughly clean, and their bristles become too easily mangled. Save yourself the aggravation of having to repeatedly buy new brushes, and spend $11 to $20 on a nice brush that will last, with proper care, cleaning, and storage. First, learn the parts of the brush. Everything has a name. A paintbrush is made up of bristles, barrel and a handle. And the bristles have areas called the toe, the belly, and the heel. The bristles hold and apply the paint. The ferrule binds the bristles to the handle. You grab, hold, and rest by the handle. You load the brush with paint up to its belly. Brush paint on with the toe, and you don't clog the heel with paint. It becomes unusable after a while. When you buy a new brush, save the wrap or package it came in. There's a reason a professional paintbrush comes in a protective package. A brush built to last requires proper storage. Typically, a paintbrush labeled as professional comes in a resealable, rigid package. If you expect to use your brush for days, weeks, or even months like I do, save the package in which it was displayed and purchased. After each use, wash and spin dry your brush and replace it to this package. It protects the bristles from being crushed, mangled, and misshapen. Wash the paintbrush. After each use and after scraping excess paint from the brush's belly back into the paint can or other receptacle, wash the brush thoroughly. The following applies only to latex paintbrushes. Hold the brush under running water and use your fingers to massage. Work the paint out with your fingers while rinsing under water, massaging the bristles from the ferrule to the toe and out. Use warm to very warm water. Cold water works too, but don't use very hot water. Very hot water changes the composition of paint and makes it more difficult to clean the brush. Your brush is clean when the water runs clear through and the bristles are free of paint residue. Pay careful attention to the point where the bristles meet the ferrule, where paint builds up after some time. I hope these few basics were of use to you. There will be more to come in this series soon. Please visit me at my Facebook business page, The Buffalo Architectural Painter. And if you'd like to see some pics, visit otiscodisco.blogspot.com. Dot com.